So if you've ever been tempted to buy a tactical pen, you probably found yourself in the same boat as me in that any situation where you could bring it, it is likely to get the scrutiny in a negative way of security that you're passing through because things like this are not for where you can carry guns and knives or for that matter even OC. Like if you're carrying pepper spray, then maybe I'm not really as worried about this. My go-to is usually one of these, it's a Zebra F01. It's a pen, it's a real pen, it's not marketed as a tactical pen. You can buy it at Walmart or any store. I'm sure you can order it on Amazon as well. Thing about this is since it's, I don't know, five or 10 bucks, if it gets confiscated, who cares? Like, I, I don't care, it doesn't matter. And it is a metal construction, so you can use it for a like jabbing implement. It's not a fist load because it doesn't weigh enough to really give you additional force in a punch, but if you need something to give you a little extra stab, that'll work. A lot of the other tactical pins I've seen scream so tactical, like no one's gonna let you in. So, or at least you're gonna end up handing it off to the TSA or getting it confiscated or whatever. So, Zebra was my go-to. It's a pen, you know, that I can use other things for. You know, a while back I saw this Atomic Bear Rebel and it looks better. It doesn't look quite tactical-ish, but if, your security guy does this, man, he's gonna be like, ow, that, that, that's a thing right there. And in addition, we've got a cap that doesn't retain, right? So you've got issues, you have issues. So it was close, but no cigar. I liked the company, I liked the design, the concept was pretty cool, but it wasn't quite there yet. This kind of sat on my armor for a while because, you know, it's a pen, it's still useful, but I didn't really use it much. These are only like 16 bucks, by the way. So if this really like floats your boat, you're like, hey, I really like that design, uh, there's gonna be links in the description. But like I said, this was like close, but it wasn't quite there. And then I saw uh, an ad for another Atomic Bear pen. This one's the, what the Stealth Pen Pro, if you can see that, if it focuses. And this was a, uh, I don't know, like 40 bucks. So it's, you know, it's more expensive, but nevertheless, Let's just open it up, shall we? Like that artisan cutlery proponent. Here I am, like railing about size, weight, and everything, and I've got this knife that weighs like a pound. Um, not quite, but there's a video out on this too. I'll link to that. But I was curious enough about this pen because it doesn't look as dastardly, and it kind of fixes some of the earlier complaints I had about their previous pen. So hopefully, you know, it looks just as good or better, like in terms of not being super tactical looking, but hopefully it's more useful if I could ever get the box open. Here we go. All right, that's quite some braggadocio. You're about to discover the world's most advanced tactical pen. Ah, lifetime warranties, quick starts, and I can join a club. So. This looks a little less threatening, a little less threatening, but it's polymer, so it doesn't weigh a ton. Let's pull out the old scale and see what it says. So one ounce. If I compare it to their previous gen, their Rebel, slightly lighter, not crazy lighter, but slightly lighter if such things concern you. But the deal with this, like I said, the cap that's just off and you can't retain it, this one is a bolt action pen. So you have a writing utensil that actually, I don't have to worry about an additional cap or anything. Decent pocket clip, strong retention there. And uh, the interesting or maybe more interesting thing is under this cap, there is a window breaker. So if you want, you can, you can expose this, but it doesn't go around exposed. And they also offer replacement little covers on their website. So if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. And it takes, I think, some sort of standard refill, like either a G2 or Parker refill. So, you know, it's easily serviceable. Schmidt, yeah, but it's standard, standard pen refill. So it seemed interesting to me. I think they also market the pen tip as an impromptu DNA collector. I don't know if you can see that. 
how you've got like the little ridges on it. That might run a scance of TSA. I don't know. But uh, I'm interested and you know, like I said, the fact that I don't have a cap to lose that's just a bolt action pin, that's a lot easier for me to ha to cart around. I don't have to worry about losing parts or pieces. Of course, this is only 16 bucks. So I guess look, if you lose parts and you want another one just like it, it's a little easier to stomach than a 40 some dollar pin. But nevertheless, like this one, I think this one might be the, the decent cross section between additional functionality and it not standing out so much, thus the stealth nomenclature. Here's your final tip, by the way. If you're gonna cart along anything like this when you go to the airport, your risks, your mileage may vary. TSA will do what TSA will do, but the best thing you can do is get a bunch of different pens and throw it in a backpack or your carry-on so that you got like four or five pens. And it, you know, if you got your laptop and a notebook and everything else and you've got like four or five pens, nobody's like, oh my God, what are you doing? Like no one's gonna look at you sideways. And then when you get on the plane, you can remove it from your backpack or when you get through security and you can put it like on the, your shirt pocket or your um, collar or whatever. And then it's readily accessible to you. So if you want something more self defense and that, that works with any pen, by the way, not just this one. Something to think about. Uh, my usual, let's see, let's see what else I got here. Yeah, so if you, you know, you have like this, this pile of them just sitting in your backpack, it's just pens, you know. So that's the stealth technique is to put it in with all of the other pieces parts. None of this should be construed as legal advice. I have no idea what the TSA will or won't do with your stuff. But if you want a pen, like I said, that I know no one will ever bat an eye at, Zebra F701. I'm going to go to pen pen. I'm inclined to cart this around a little bit and see what it does. I cannot guarantee that it'll work, but like I said, I think you got better odds of success with this one than this one. And if you go down the list of other tactical pens, some of them look so ludicrous that I, I think it's going to be really hard for you to get them through any sort of security. I think you're going to end up donating that to the powers that be. This one might be okay. This one, ugh. And this one, like I said, all day long. That's my general thought on tactical pins, guys. I'm not gonna make this video super long. Hopefully it's been helpful to you, or at least entertaining. Like I said, I'll put a link to some of these down in the description. I am reasonably intrigued with this one. I am. I don't know, I will, uh, I'll run it for a little while, see what I think. Guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, stay safe. Get him, Jay.